Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and welcome to my channel. Uh, for a long time, I've been doing Deb's musings, just sharing a vlog on my channel with um, tanks as my backdrop as I share experiences. So today I'm going to share with you um, an experience I had and what it taught me. Um, and I just ask you to enjoy and um, let me know what you think. So please stay tuned. Faith and doubt are two sides of the same coin. A person having faith sees the bright side, the possibilities, and the opportunities in everything they face. But the person having doubt sees the obstacles, the burdens, and the dark side of things. Those who flounder in doubt are slow to take action, fearing failure. But those who live by faith only see possibilities turning obstacles into stumbling blocks to conquer. Years ago, my ex left me with our four sons. I lived under a huge dark cloud of doubt for a few years. Everything inside me was affected through this event. I had zero self-esteem. I felt unlovable, weak, unworthy, living in shame fearing managing on my own and raising my four children. Then one day I had an experience that shifted my thinking and the real Deb began to emerge. I was on my way home from getting groceries. It was cold and raining. Halfway home, I blew a tire. Well, I sat with my head on the steering wheel and cried. I was so overwhelmed and this was just one more bad thing to happen. Well, I wiped my face and I told myself, I can do this. It took me a while to figure out the jack. I was sure there had to be more pieces because it looked so small. Well, getting the nuts off the tire was a struggle as well, but I managed. I found the mini tire in the trunk and then switched them out. Getting that tiny tire on, I couldn't figure out which way it went on. I put it on the way I thought it looked best. Well, that took me about an hour. I got in my car and started back onto the highway. Something was wrong. I pulled over again, more angry now than defeated. As I was getting the jack out of the trunk, a trucker stopped and asked if he could help. I smiled at him and said, yes, you can. Can you tell me if this tire is on right? He smiled and shook his head. Nope. As he bent down to help, I thanked him and told him I can do this by myself, but thanks so much for stopping. Well, that experience taught me so much and even gave my self-esteem a boost. Having self-doubt just fills you with excuses, preventing you from achieving anything. How often have you taught yourself out of doing something for fear of failing? It's that aggravating, doubting voice inside your head, making you believe you can't, won't, or shouldn't, all which are negative. When we allow those ugly worms of doubt to creep into our minds, they begin to gather strength unless we squish them as they pop up. If allowed, they will take control of your life, becoming the dominant force. You can overcome all your doubts by turning them into belief in yourself. It's time to take control from that inner voice and drown it out with cheers. Yes, you can. It has to start within you. Think of your successes and celebrate each one no matter how small. Replace the negative inner voice in your mind with encouraging words and thoughts. Turn your self-doubts into believing you can do anything you set your mind to. Begin by taking small goals that you normally would hesitate over completing. Be bold and know that you can succeed. When you do, congratulate yourself. Be your own cheerleader. Validate your victories with someone important to you. 
they will see the changes in you too and become an encouraging reinforcement. You don't have to make these changes alone. You know, when I got home after my flat tire experience, my boys were worried sick about me because I was about two hours later than I had told them. I looked quite a fright too because I was soaked to the skin because it was pouring rain. My knees to my shoes were solid mud because I was kneeling beside that tire for hours it seemed. But I was smiling because I felt I had conquered something that I didn't think I'd be able to do. Sure, it takes a little practice, but you will soon find you're looking at things with a whole new perspective. We can certainly do much more than we ever imagined. So put your doubts aside and have some faith in yourself. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.